Think you've seen the most powerful explosions on Earth? Well, brace yourself. Out in the cosmos, there's an explosion so colossal it makes all our earthly blasts look like flickers in the dark. Imagine an event so powerful it releases more energy in just a few seconds than our sun will in its entire 10 billion year lifespan. This is not a science fiction scenario, it's real and it's happening in the universe. We're talking about gamma ray bursts, GRBs, the most powerful and violent explosions ever recorded. These aren't your everyday cosmic fireworks, they are the true giants of the universe happening billions of light years away and radiating more energy than any other phenomenon known to science. Let's start with how these titanic explosions even happen. There are two main types of gamma ray bursts, long and short. The long bursts, which last more than two seconds, are usually associated with the collapse of massive stars at the end of their life cycles. These stars, much larger than our sun, burn through their nuclear fuel in a short period of time. Once they've used up all their energy, the core collapses under its own gravity, creating either a black hole or a neutron star. In this collapse, material from the outer layer of the star falls inward, only to be expelled outward in extremely powerful jets traveling at near the speed of light. These jets emit gamma rays, the most energetic form of light, producing the immense explosion that we know as a gamma ray burst. Short gamma ray bursts, on the other hand, happen when two neutron stars, extremely dense remnants of supernova explosions, merge. These neutron stars spin around each other in a cosmic dance for millions, sometimes billions of years before finally colliding. The result is a massive explosion that sends shockwaves through the universe. Let's travel back to October 9th, 2022, a date that will forever be etched in the annals of cosmic history. On this day, astronomers detected a burst of gamma rays so intense that it was dubbed the boat, the brightest of all time. This event, known as GRB, 221009A was a long gamma ray burst and was so powerful that its energy swept through our entire solar system, briefly altering the Earth's atmosphere. To put this into perspective, the burst released more energy in just a few moments than the sun will over its entire lifetime. Let that sink in. Astronomers from all over the world scrambled to point their telescopes toward the event with NASA's James Webb Space Telescope also playing a crucial role in studying its aftermath. The boat event was detected just 2.4 billion light years away, which is relatively close in cosmic terms. Despite being this far away, it was so bright that it could be measured here on Earth as if it were as close as our nearest cosmic neighbors. Scientists were able to measure its effects on the Earth's upper atmosphere something that's rarely observed in gamma ray bursts. So what exactly causes these cosmic monsters to be so powerful? A GRB is essentially a concentrated jet of radiation emitted by a dying star as it collapses into a black hole. The process starts when a massive star about 30 to 50 times the size of our sun reaches the end of its life. When a star this big runs out of fuel, it can no longer support its own mass. The core collapses under its own gravity, forming either a black hole or a neutron star. During this collapse, material from the outer layers of the star gets sucked inward, and as this happens, it heats up and generates huge amounts of energy. That energy gets funneled into two jets of matter, which shoot out of the star's poles at nearly the speed of light. These jets are the gamma rays we detect, and they're what make gamma ray bursts so extraordinary. What's incredible is that despite the unimaginable scale of these events, gamma ray bursts last only a few seconds to a few minutes at most. Yet, in that brief moment, they release more energy than the entire Milky Way galaxy produces in over 100,000 years. But what if a gamma ray burst were to hit Earth? 
The good news is, we are relatively safe. The nearest potential source of a gamma ray burst is still thousands of light years away, and the odds of one pointing directly at us are astronomically low. But hypothetically, if a gamma ray burst were to hit Earth from close range, it would be catastrophic. The burst of the radiation would strip away our planet's ozone layer, exposing the surface to deadly levels of ultraviolet light from the sun. This could lead to a mass extinction event, wiping out many forms of life, just as scientists suspected happened in the past during certain mass extinctions. In fact, some researchers believe that a gamma ray burst may have been responsible for the Ordovician Silurian extinction event around 450 million years ago, which wiped out about 85% of Earth's species at the time. Thankfully, most GRBs occur so far away that the only effect we experience on Earth is a fleeting pulse of gamma rays that passes through our atmosphere. In fact, the atmosphere shields us from most of this deadly radiation, which is a good thing, because a direct hit from a nearby gamma ray burst could strip away our planet's atmosphere and make life impossible. Scientists first discovered gamma ray bursts by accident in the 1960s. During the height of the Cold War, the United States had launched satellites designed to detect nuclear explosions on Earth. However, what these satellites detected instead was something far more mysterious. Brief but incredible intense bursts of gamma radiation coming from deep space. It took years of research and the development of more sophisticated instruments to finally understand that these bursts were coming from cataclysmic events occurring billions of light years away. Through the years we've found another reason gamma ray bursts are so important is their potential role in creating the heavier elements in the universe, elements like gold, platinum, and uranium. You see, after the Big Bang, the universe was primarily composed of hydrogen and helium, the lightest elements on the periodic table. Everything heavier than these had to be forged in the hearts of stars or during massive cosmic events like supernovae. But even supernovae can only create elements as heavy as iron. So where do elements heavier than iron come from? That's where gamma ray bursts come into play. When a star collapses into a black hole or when two neutron stars merge, the conditions in the core are just right for a process called rapid neutron capture, or R process. This process allows nuclei to capture neutrons rapidly, creating the heavy elements we find on Earth today. In fact, one of the most famous gamma ray burst events, GRB 170817A, was linked to the collision of two neutron stars in 2017. This event was accompanied by a kilonova, a faint cousin of a supernova which produced a vast amount of heavy elements. Telescopic observations of the kilonova revealed that the explosion had created significant amounts of gold and platinum, confirming that these cosmic collisions play a critical role in the formation of the heaviest elements in the universe. The largest explosion ever, AT2021 LWX. While gamma ray bursts are the most powerful explosions in terms of energy, there is another type of explosion that has recently taken the title of the largest explosion in space. AT2021 LWX. This explosion, which began around 2020 and was still raging three years later, was 10 times brighter than any known supernova. Unlike supernovae, which typically last only a few months, AT2021 LWX has been ongoing for years, making it a truly unique and colossal event. This explosion is believed to be the result of a supermassive black hole devouring an enormous gas cloud. As the black hole consumed the gas, it sent shockwaves throughout the surrounding dust and gas, causing them to emit bright electromagnetic radiation. The brightness of AT2021LWX was so extreme that astronomers initially didn't understand what they were seeing. It was only after several years of study that they realized they were witnessing an unprecedented cosmic event. This explosion is so powerful that its brightness rivals that of quasars, supermassive black holes that continuously consume gas and emit blindingly bright radiation. But unlike quasars, which flicker and change in brightness over time, 
AT2021LWX appeared out of nowhere and stayed consistently bright for years. Now, why do these explosions matter? After all, they happen billions of light years away and don't seem to affect us directly. But the truth is, these explosions play a critical role in the evolution of the universe. For one, gamma ray bursts and other massive cosmic explosions are responsible for spreading heavy elements throughout the universe. Without these explosions, the universe would be much more barren place, lacking the elements needed to form planets, life, and everything we see around us. Additionally, these explosions provide valuable clues about the life cycles of stars and the behavior of black holes, two of the most important building blocks in the universe. By studying these events, scientists can learn more about how galaxies form, how stars die, and how black holes grow. As technology advances, we're only going to get better at detecting and studying these incredible explosions. Instruments like the Vera Rubin Observatory's Legacy Survey of Space and Time LSST, will allow us to capture even more of these rare events, giving us new insight into the most powerful forces in the universe. And who knows, as we continue to explore the universe, we may discover even more types of explosions, each one more extraordinary than the last. The cosmos is full of surprises, and the more we look, the more we realize just how small and fragile our place in it is.